To combat China's rapidly declining economic development, the Chinese government has reverted to a tried and true policy strategy of investing in massive infrastructure projects. Welcome back to our channel. We're back again with a new video to talk about the most expensive projects in China. China is undergoing a massive transformation. The country intends to transfer 250 million people, the equivalent of Indonesia's entire population, into the country's rapidly expanding megacities during the next 10 years. The country has invested billions of dollars in large infrastructure projects to handle this unprecedented migration. Some are already finished, while others are still in the planning stages. China is demonstrating what it means to build big things with freeways that span the continent, the world's largest wind power base, hugely popular airports, and new communities in the desert. China has a slew of big infrastructure projects in the work or under construction, ranging from undersea railway tunnels to river diversion. Beijing has long relied on infrastructure expenditure to keep the economy afloat, but critics warn that credit-fueled investment could lead to unsustainable debt. To stabilize its economy, China is increasingly relying on state-led investment, expecting that massive infrastructure projects will boost local enterprise and create jobs. To help encourage investment and strengthen the economy, China's finance ministry announced in late December that it had provided local governments with an early allocation of 1.46 trillion yuan or 229 billion US dollars in quotas for 2022 special purpose bonds. Beijing's 2021 to 25 growth plan includes a total of 102 mega projects, some of which will be front loaded. Infrastructure spending, on the other hand, is viewed with skepticism in some quarters, with critics claiming that credit fueled investment could lead to unsustainable levels of debt. We look at some mega projects in China that have sparked interest and controversy. Number 1. Shanghai Urban Rail Transit Expansion, 44.23 billion US dollars. Nine rail projects comprising six subway lines and three intercity trains are being built as part of the Shanghai Urban Rail Transportation Development. The projects, which began in 2018, are expected to cover a total of 286 kilometers. The network's goal is to improve connectivity between the financial hub's two airports and two main train terminals. They are scheduled to be finished in 2023. Number 2. Intercity Railway along with Yangtze River in Jiangsu Province, 34.35 billion US dollars. Eight regional intercity railways will be developed in a metropolitan cluster along with Yangtze River in Jiangsu Province, reducing the commuting time from Nanjing, the province's capital city, to other districts and cities. Some of the lines will also connect Nanjing to municipalities in Anhui Province, which is only across the border. The intercity routes are expected to take until 2025 to complete. Number 3. Sichuan Tibet Railway After a connection with Qinghai was established in 2006, the Sichuan Tibet Railway is the second rail link between Tibet and the hinterland regions. The project might reduce time travel from 36 hours to 13 hours by connecting Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, and Lhasa, the capital of Tibet's autonomous region. It has been designated as a vital strategy project by the state-owned China Railway Group and it's seen as a top priority for China's railway construction after getting support from President Xi Jinping. Construction of the project, which is anticipated to cost 319.8 billion yuan or 50.6 billion US dollars, began at the end of 2020 and it will be completed in 2026. The 435km segment between Ningchi in Tibet Autonomous Region and Lhasa, which connects Chengdu and Yan in Sichuan Province, opened in June 2018. The remaining 1,011 kilometers will be completed with tunnels and bridges and will pass through areas with peaks above 9,000 feet. Number 4. Wuhan Urban Rail Transit – $21.78 billion in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, four metro lines and four urban express lines are being built as part of the Wuhan Urban Rail Transit project. The projects, according to the NDRC, would assist Wuhan's urban planning and reduce traffic congestion. The investment proposal, which would cost $8.66 billion in total, includes a circle route with 37 stops that will begin at Wuchang Railway Station. The project will last from 2019 until 2024. Number 5. Intercity Rail Network in Eastern Guangdong, 14.86 billion US dollars. The Eastern Guangdong Province's Intercity Rail Network will improve connectivity between the cities of Shantou, Shanwei, Chaozhou, and Jiang. 
According to the NDRC, work on three rail lines totaling 320 kilometers began in 2018, while work on four others totaling 140 kilometers will begin at the appropriate moment. From 2019 to 2024, Changchun will build seven urban rail transit lines, comprising the extension of three current lines and the construction of four new lines. Number 6. South-North Water Transfer Project Since the early 1950s, China has talked about diverting dozens of billion cubic meters of water yearly from the Yangtze River in the south to the northern areas through three canals. The government hasn't said how much it'll put into the project, but earlier market estimates placed it at approximately 500 billion yuan. The Eastern Canal runs along to the historic Grand Canal and passes through Jiangsu, Shandong and Hebei provinces. The Central Canal begins at Danjiangko Reservoir in Hubei's central province, while the Western Canal begins at Bayan Har Mountains, at three tributaries of the Yangtze River, and runs through the provinces of Qinghai, Gansu, Shaanxi, Inner Mongolia, and Ningxia. China approved the eastern route and phase one of the central routes in 2002, and by the end of last year, 94.2% of the project had been finished. In 2021, a total of 9.7 billion cubic meters, 2.1 trillion gallons of water was diverted, which is equivalent to 3.2 million Olympic swimming pools. According to the Ministry of Water Resources, about 49.9 billion cubic meters of water had been diverted since the eastern route opened earlier that year. Aside from worries regarding investment, evaporation and environmental harm, the project faces a big challenge in relocating local populations, with government data indicating that roughly 330,000 people reside near Danjianko Reservoir and along the core route were compelled to relocate. In May, Xi paid a visit to the core route and attended a symposium, during which he stated that the project was justified in meeting people's demand, while also ensuring environmental safety and sustainability. Minister of Water Resources Li Guoying told the 2022 annual work conference in January that authorities will move through the follow-up projects along the eastern and central canals, while also starting early-stage work on the western route. Number 7. Beijing Airport, China in terms of cost, total square miles and passenger and plane capacity, Beijing International Airport will eventually surpass Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport. The first section of the airport was finished in time for the 2008 Olympic Games. The next phase of expansion is expected to be completed in 2025. Terminal 1, built by Zaha Hadid, features a futuristic building exterior that integrates a number of sustainable design elements. Number 8. Lingang New City in Shanghai Nanhui New City is a planned city in Shanghai, China, located at the Pudong New Area. Lingang New City was its previous name until April 2012, when it was renamed. Construction on the project began in 2003, and it's expected to be completed in 2020, with the goal of attracting 450,000 residents and 10 million tourists per year by that time. The city was supposed to be a mini Hong Kong, but despite the fact that real estate developments sold swiftly, residents have been hesitant to relocate. Eight university campuses have been established on the west side of Nanhui New Area to help revitalize the city, bringing in over 100,000 students. Number 9. Yantai Dalian Undersea Tunnel the proposed tunnel connecting Yantai in the east and Dalian on the north runs for roughly 90 kilometers beneath the Bohai Sea, more than double the length of the channel tunnel between England and France. Train journeys might be reduced from 10 to 1 hour, eliminating the requirement for an 8-hour boat ride. The idea was first proposed in the early 1990s, but given the intricate technology required and minimal transportation demand, its viability has long been questioned. After the central government included it in a strategy to revitalize northeastern China in 2014, it attracted additional attention. Wang Mengxu, a late tunnel expert who was deputy chief engineer of China Railway Construction Group and director of the project's strategic planning team, estimated that it would cost around 260 billion yuan to build. In 2013, the idea was submitted to the State Council for consideration. In May 2019, construction proposals were submitted to China's main economic planning agency, the National Development of Reform Commission, NDRC, for approval, but no further decision has been made public. There are, however, indicators that the project may be moving forward. Peng Lai, a district of Yantai City, for example, has made preparations for crossbow high links at its high-speed railway station. 
Number 10. Yarlung Zongbo River Dam Yan Ziyong, chairman of China's state-owned power construction corporation, discussed building a hydropower dam on the lower levels of the Yarlung Zongbo River, also known as the Brahmaputra River in India, in November 2020. In his speech to the China Society of Hydropower Engineering, he stated that the river's Great Bend section has the ability to produce about 70 million kilowatts, which is more than three times the capacity of the Three Gorges hydropower project. China will begin hydropower production in the river's lower reaches according to the NDRC's National Development Plan for 2021-25. to After the hydropower stations Zhangmu and Jiaxia became operational, Tibetan authorities are pushing for the development of the Dagu Station, which is located halfway up the Yarlung Zhangbu River. While the project is still in its early stages, it has sparked widespread worry in the downstream countries, particularly India, which is concerned that China may use water supplies for military purposes. These were the top 10 projects most expensive ongoing in China. But some of them, though not placed in the top 10, but are considered to be extremely expensive are also here. I hope that I'll cover almost all the expensive projects in China. Do like the video and subscribe to my channel. Honki River Project In 2017, social activist Gao Gan suggested the Honki River Project or the Red Flag River Project with the goal of transferring water from Tibet to Xinjiang's arid areas. Despite the fact that it has no government support, it caused a stir on social media when it was first proposed. According to Gao, it will take 10 years to complete and cost 4 trillion yuan. The concept has been the subject of two scholarly talks and Shanlin Finance, a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform that closed in 2018, claimed to support it. Taiwan Strait Tunnel Project The tunnel was intended to be part of the Beijing-Taipei Expressway, which would connect the mainland and Taiwan if built. It has now been incorporated into China's railway development strategy. It is widely regarded as part of Beijing's unification program, especially given the recent escalation of hostilities across the Taiwan Strait. In November, a song called Going to Taiwan by High Speed Train became viral on Douyin, China's version of TikTok. So, this was all about the video today. Do mention the project you found to be the most interesting in the comments. Thank you for watching.